Hello, I am Dr. Nikhil Patel. Here is a model of little girl created in ZBrush and now in Maya. We call her Saira. We are giving her life by way of animating her. The first step is creating skeleton. We will be creating facial skeleton here. We are highlighting the face. Combined mesh of the body and the facial part is not done. Uh, highlighting the portion to be working upon side view orthographic go to the animation and join tool that is the neck joint and the head joint That is the neck joint. We name it in the outliner. Neck joint. The next one, upper one, is the head joint. Keep the outliner open. It is very handy. Again, join to this time we will create the lower jaw bone. We name it lower jaw joint. We will duplicate the bone, we will rotate it to the desired position, rotation on Z axis, you can view it in the axis position, X, Y, Z, colored one, we scaling it to 0.9 scale. Naming it upper jaw joint. This will be the central joints, so don't need to be named right and left. Drill enabled again, joint tool. Set to the grid option on. You can scale down the radius in the channel box editor. Radius tag is there. You can change it there. You can enlarge or you can decrease the size. Naming the joint eye joint. We name it left eye joint. It will be used for left eye. SS there is no joint eye joint. Only muscles are involved in the human body and animal kingdom. The muscles are doing the trick of movement rotation of the eyes. Here we have no option. We are looking through the eyes of Maya. That's why we are creating eyeball bone. We have not created the classical globular structure of the eye. Instead, we have taken the portion, model the portion of the front eyeball, that is cornea, lens, pupils, iris, and the frontal part of the eye. Naming it upper eyelid joint the creation of the eyeball smoothens the workflow 
by providing the center point of the eyeball which can be used for rotation of the eye uniformly and nicely. Panels top view of the graphic. We are aligning the eyeball and eyelash joints. Sorry, eyelid joints on the left side. Left eyelid low joint and left upper eyelid joint. Now these are the three units on the left side and right side. We will mirror it on the right side on YZ axis. Side orthographic view, it looks okay. Nice line position. So, what I'm getting at the upper eyelid joint, making it 12. That's okay. Photographic front view would mirror it to the left side now. Now see what happens we try to mirror all three joints or multiple joints. And I would deny would not perform that action. Instead we have to go for individual bone for mirroring. That is why that axis orientation wise. We can change the names here left right. Now I would do automatically. Now all three joints they don't get mirrored. Instead we would go for individual joints. There it is on the right eye. Central one. Again, mirror joint would be the lower one, applier, it is third. Now the upper one, left upper eyelid joint to be mirrored to the right side as the right upper eyelid joint. There are three on the right side here. Go on naming the structures, it would be easy to identify and utilize them as and when necessary for selection as well as for other means. The mirror joints are named right eye joints and eyelid joints. We remove the suffix one, each of them. We will have to place the two bundles of bones on either side perfectly which can facilitate the smooth movement and congruent movement of the eyes individually as well as collectively.
minor nudging here and there. It's done. We see in top how it looks. They are aligned. The central bones are needed to be placed correctly. Here the nerving facial skeleton. The bones look tiny. And you can change again. I am telling general box editor. Radius tag. Again in perspective view. Our fill of the bones we have created, facial skeleton. Normal human being carries orbicularis oris, orbicularis oculi, vaccinator and all those muscles will be working with bones here only. Parenting it, upper and lower jaw bones to the head bone. Now the Three bones on the left side and the right side of the right eyeball to be parented again to the head bone. Now our parenting is done. The root joint being the neck joint. These are the individual bones, lower, upper jaw and eye bones. <laughs>